Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. The fast is over and this is uh, our very first meal. And we are at a barbecue restaurant and I have ribs and brisket, green beans and macaroni and cheese. This is Howard's plate. He has the same thing. His bread is covering up his ribs. Can you move your bread? So he has ribs too. Texas he has Twinkie. A Texas Twinkie, which is cream cheese stuffed with brisket and wrapped in bacon and a jalapeno. He has beans, macaroni and cheese, and he got peach cobbler. And then I got some banana pudding. So this is what's for dinner tonight. See you next time. Hi guys, just want to show you what we are having for dinner tonight. It is a beautiful day here in Texas. It is almost 80 degrees in February. And so Howard and I decided to grill some um, hot dogs. And so Howard grilled these turkey hot dogs. And normally I am not a big fan of turkey. I'm not a big fan of um, turkey cold cuts or anything like that. But Oscar Mayer, they do a really good job on their hot dogs and it does not taste like turkey and I really like them. And so that's a grilled hot dog that I'm eating. And I like mustard on my hot dogs and I especially like jalapeno mustard. I'm not sure where else you, I don't know. I know this is definitely in Texas, of course, but I don't know what other region. This is um, like a Southwestern brand, Best Made. And I really like the turkey relish. And I am having some chips by Pocky the cool salsa, salsa verde. And let me show you Howard's plate. He is having two hot dogs. He put hot sauce and ketchup on his. And for his chips, he is having this brand of chips. It came in one of our boxes. I cannot remember which box it came in. Mm, do you remember, Howard? No. He, he doesn't remember either, but um, they're paprika. I'm not a big fan of them, but that is what he is having. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, just wanna show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having chicken fries from Aldi. Now you know, normally I like to show you the package, but I had to toss the box because I did not have enough room in my freezer. So these are the spicy chicken fries from Aldi. We've had these before and we really like them a lot. I made them in my air fryer. And we are also having just some canned corn. And I am having pastaroni shells and white cheddar. And this is what the box looks like. And Howard is having the same thing, except he wanted to try this chickpea let me so show you the chickpea organic chickpea lentil and mac and cheese classic cheddar. We have this in the pantry as well and he decided that he really wanted to try it. And so it came in one of our subscription boxes. I cannot remember which one, but this is what it looks like on his plate. And we both tried a little bit and he said that he thinks that he may have overcooked the pasta. Um, but it is only made with two ingredients, which is the chickpeas and the lentils. Um, I didn't care for it. I thought the pasta tasted really grainy. He said it tasted like cardboard. Then he said he probably would not um, buy that again or eat it again. As you can see, I don't have any on my plate. I did not like it at all. I did not like the texture, but then I don't like chickpeas or lentils either. So. But anyway, this is Howard's plate. Like I said, we have the same thing, except he is having, um, he's doing half and half of the um, pastaroni and half of the chick chickpea stuff. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, wanted to show you what we're having for dinner tonight. I have been craving cube steak for a while and so that's what I decided to make. So we are having green beans, and that is cube steak right here. And then we've got some mashed potatoes and on top of the mashed potatoes is the gravy from the cube steak. So cube steak is what is used to make chicken fried steak around here. It's a tougher cut of meat, but I make mine in the crock pot. So I got up early this morning before I went to work and browned the steak in the skillet. And then I put it in the crock pot 
Um, and so for the gravy portion, I had two cans of cream of chicken soup and then a dry packet of the Lipton onion soup mix. Mixed that up in a bowl and then I poured some of the sauce mixture on the bottom of the crock pot, put the chicken fried steak, um, I'm sorry, the cube steak on top of that. And then I topped it with more gravy and I cooked it on low for about eight and a half, nine hours. And so we are having mashed potatoes as I mentioned. These are the mashed potatoes that I like. I have shown these on a lot of our what's for dinners and I love these potatoes. Um, they're hard to find now, but um, let me see if I can show you the ingredients. Here they are. Here are the ingredients. The only thing in there are potatoes, heavy whipping cream, and butter and salt. That's it. And they are really good. You cook them in the microwave. And then for our biscuits, I made these Grand Flaky Layer Sweet Hawaiian Biscuits. I'm still trying to use what I have in my pantry and in my freezer. So this was in my refrigerator. This was in my freezer. I had green beans already. Um, the only thing that I needed was cube steak because I don't have a lot of um, meat in my freezer, surprisingly. So this is Howard's plate. And then this is my plate. I don't have a biscuit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a biscuit or not. I'm trying to cut back on carbs just a little bit. And if you'll notice, the biggest difference between our two plates is his is all together, and I do like my stuff separated generally. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, just wanna show you what we're having for dinner tonight. We are having crock pot tomato tortellini stew and I am participating in a collab hosted by Cooking with Corey and Smoking Bears. And um, that video will come out on Monday, February the 18th. So be on the lookout for that video. But anyway, this is really good. It has sausage and cheese tortellini and tomatoes and it's all cooked up in a crock pot. So that is it. And uh, we will see you guys next time.